Look at that application, it is just flawless and my skin is still glowing from the inside. Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my skincare routine that I do for the most smooth, perfect, flawless makeup application. If that sounds like guilting them, please go ahead and turn the notification on. So this video was actually quite highly requested by you guys and in the past, I'll be honest, I didn't really give it a second thought. But now that um, mask wearing is every day and here to stay, see the rhyme that I did there? Um, <laughs> I realized that the skincare routine I do when I wear masks versus when I don't and wear a full face of makeup is quite different. So I thought I would share that routine with you guys. So the main purpose of this routine for me is to achieve that smooth, plump, hydrated, glowy look that you see on my skin right now, even after makeup application. Now, if you are looking for a routine that's going to be like budge proof, it's going to stay there all day, even if you wear a mask, this and that, this is not the routine. I mean, I really like, I personally don't think there's any makeup out there that's going to just look the exact same all day. It just doesn't happen because we do produce sweat, oil, and everything else throughout the day that is going to compromise our makeup. If you are curious on like how I achieve this glowy look that you usually see in my videos, then keep watching because we're going to get into that routine. Let's go! So most days I actually don't use cleanser in the morning unless I really feel the need to and usually just rinse with lukewarm water. But on makeup days, I do just want that smooth buffed skin. So I usually use a gentle exfoliating wash. One of my favorite powder washes is the By Wish Trend Green Tea and Enzyme Powder Wash. I discovered this a few years back and it is still one of the best ones I have ever tried. I really like how you can just adjust the abrasiveness depending on how much water you add. So if you want like a gentle light foam, you can add more water. If you want something a little more abrasive, um, add less water. And I just feel like it's the perfect gentle exfoliator when you want an immediate effect. Obviously, it includes green tea, which is a great antioxidant, and also papain extract, which helps to exfoliate. It buffs the skin to create the perfect foundation for your following skincare steps and allows them to absorb better. And I feel like it works for literally every skin type. When I'm cleansing with this one, I make sure to focus on those areas that get a bit of buildup, get oily, can feel rough on the skin. So for me, it's usually on my chin and then also around my nose. That's where I focus on mainly. And then the rest of my face, I just kind of go over very gently. We're going to rinse that off and pat dry. As you guys may know already, toner is my absolute favorite step in skincare and it is such an important step here to rehydrate and plump up the skin so it stays nice and hydrated underneath that makeup all day. This next part of the video is sponsored by White Rabbit. I'm one who uses cotton pads quite a bit in my routine. They are so multi-use and can definitely boost the efficacy of your products. Although cotton can really vary in quality depending on the brand. And there are a lot of rough or linty or ones that are made of materials that can be harsh on our skin as well as the environment. Recently, I started using White Rabbit's Naked Cotton and to be honest, they are a game changer compared to any cotton pads I've tried before. So first, I'm going to take their classic cotton to apply some of the numbers and number two toner across my skin. Their cotton pads are made of 100% cotton, so it's super soft but doesn't fluff up or produce lint when you use it. They are also very thin, so it actually absorbs enough product without wasting it, which is always nice. And by using cotton pads in your daily routine, it can actually help to gradually exfoliate your skin so that physical like movement of wiping the cotton across the skin can help exfoliate, which is perfect for someone like me because I don't like to use harsh exfoliants or actives. I like to do it very, very gently. So with these cottons, they are so soft that you wouldn't even think that you're helping exfoliate your skin, but it does gradually help to smooth that texture. I also make sure to wipe down my neck as well to get rid of any impurities like dust that may have stuck onto it overnight. 
Now this next part is definitely the most extra part of the routine, but I'm going to grab the white rabbit stripped cotton. How cool is this? They are actually literally strips of cotton and I'm going to soak them with the same numbers in number two makeup boosting toner. Once they are soaked, I'm going to paste them across my face and create a kind of DIY mask. Why I like these is because you can actually get a better coverage in all areas with the unique shape compared to just square cottons. And now for the toner. Yes, you did hear me right. It is the makeup boosting toner from Number Zen. I think you guys may have noticed that I kind of um, like this brand a lot. <laughs> As the name suggests, this toner is set to help boost makeup application. So it is perfect for this routine. It contains 89% of Belgian onsen sui, which onsen sui means hot spring water, which is known to be full of minerals that help to hydrate even in a dryness. It does have a tiny bit of viscosity to it, but it is still really watery. So it really does hydrate without leaving any stickiness. It does also include a very small amount of BHA. So with overtime use, it will smooth out your skin texture as well. This toner in conjunction with the Naked Cotton really helped create the perfect makeup boosting sheet mask that helps hydrate into the deeper layers of the skin and keep it hydrated for longer. I'm going to pour a little bit of extra on my cheeks from on top because that's where I tend to get more dry and usually leave it on for about three to five minutes. Once removed, my skin is so plump and hydrated and like mochi mochi. I am also going to apply the cotton onto my neck so I can reap full benefits without wasting any product. The Naked Cotton is also 100% biodegradable and is not tested on animals and you can actually try them out for free right now if you sign up through the link in my description. Unfortunately, it is US only, but I will also leave um, sites where you can find it globally as well. Now we are going to be adding some glow, but the key is to layer multiple light layers of skincare since thicker products can tend to peel and cake underneath makeup. I'm using a few drops of the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop. I used to be obsessed with this serum a while back and I hadn't used it for a while, but I picked it up again in the warmer weather and oh, it's so good. It's supposed to be like an oil that's not like an oil, if that makes sense. Like it has benefits like a skin oil, but it isn't heavy or sticky and it just leaves your skin with such a nice glow. It has green tea, water, bifida, and peptides as key ingredients. So it's like an antioxidant, moisturizing, anti-aging serum that I think would work for so many different skin types. And it's actually recommended for oily skin too. If even this one is too heavy for you, an alternative option for something even more lightweight is the Toriden Dive In Serum. This one is also really, really nice and hydrating and just glides across the skin. It's kind of known as like the, I think it's called the three second serum where within three seconds you apply it, it just like absorbs and hydrates your skin, but it is um, mainly hyaluronic acid based, just an FYI. <laughs> Of course, I don't want my under eyes to look crusty under that concealer. So I'm going to pop some eye cream on going in with the Cosar X advanced snail peptide eye cream. I know a lot of people love this one and I have enjoyed it recently too. Initially, I was taken aback a little bit with the slippery texture, but it does allow for it to be really well hydrating without being heavy since you don't want to wear heavy eye cream, especially during the day or underneath makeup. A little goes a long way, so I just take a really small amount on my ring finger and apply under and around the eyes and massage it in. I also like to take it down into my laugh lines to make sure everything is kind of hydrated and plumped out, um, especially those areas that are prone to creasing when you wear makeup. Like other products in their line, it does have snail secretion filtrate as well as five types of peptides to help with skin elasticity too. Now we have to make sure to seal in all that hydration that we worked hard to replenish with some moisturizer. I mentioned this one in my best of 2021 skincare recently too, but I will be topping off the routine with this Skin 1004 Centella Cream. 
As I've mentioned in the past, this cream works so well as a priming moisturizer for me. It is the perfect balance of hydration and moisture for my combo to dehydrated skin and has a lovely lightweight lotion-like texture that feels really silky and smooth. In addition to the obvious soothing ingredient of centella, it also includes glycerin, squalane, and ceramides to moisturize and protect the skin barrier and also niacinamide to brighten. It is up to you if you want to apply SPF after this. Of course, usually I would recommend to apply SPF always, but when I film, I don't generally go outside or in direct sunlight and instead going with a cushion with SPF. Some sunscreens I'd recommend to keep that glowy look and stay moisturized is the Pareto Daily Go-To Sunscreen. I would recommend this one for those who have normal to dry skin since it does have that nice creamy texture and really will keep your skin moisturized throughout the day. Or even the Thank You Pharma Sun Project Water Sun Cream. This one's a little bit more lightweight but very, very hydrating, so good for those who are dehydrated. Both of them are chemical white cast free sunscreens, although everyone does have their preferences with SPF so use what you know you like and something that's not going to peel underneath makeup. Now that I have finished the full routine just look at my skin compared to the before where it's looking dull and dry it is just so hydrated glowy plump like oh it's just it just looks so good and it's going to wear really really well underneath makeup as well so i'm going to go ahead and apply my favorite cushion which is the moonshot glassy fit cushion i wear it in the color 201 beige and like look at that application it is just flawless and my skin is still glowing from the inside and i just can't get enough of this routine I am going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup real quick. Of course, to top it off, I always love using a mist on top of my completed makeup look. So I'm going to go in with the classic Dalba, which one was it? Vital Spray Serum. Oh, I've talked about this countless times and I know you guys know that I love it, but it just, it just adds that glow that hydration and that completed look to my makeup every single time so I just can't go without it well I hope you guys enjoyed I guess my get ready with me um skincare routine for smooth makeup application remember to also check out white rabbit and the cotton they really are nice smooth high quality cotton and if you are eligible to sign up to try them make sure you do and let me know if you like them as much as I do if you want to check out another skincare video check here and then maybe even another makeup video check over here and I'll see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.